I have been playing this game so much the past few weeks and I have to tell you about it. Hey friends, I'm Ashley and welcome to Ash's Cozy Corner. So far in 2023, I feel like we've had a slow start to cozy games releasing on the Nintendo Switch. At first, I was kind of annoyed because I didn't have anything that was close to releasing to look forward to, but then I realized it gave me some time to go back and play the games that I did not get to play that released late last year. Trust me, there was so many games that released late last year that I did not get to try including Wildflowers. So many of you in the Cozy Corner community recommended that I play it and Studio Dry Dock was kind enough to give me Wildflowers to try out and oh my gosh, I can see why so many of you all recommended it and now I'm recommending it. Wildflowers is a super cozy life sim where you play as a witch and move to a town called Fairhaven to take care of your sick grandmother. Here's the official description of the game. Join Tara on a heartfelt journey to become a witch in Wildflowers. Farm by day and cast spells by night as you craft your cottagecore life and bond with your coven. Come to know and love the fully voiced acted characters of Fairhaven as you unravel a local mystery. The amount of love the developers put into this game really, really shines as Wildflowers truly is so unique for a live farm sim. This game puts a huge focus on the storyline, which is really what made me fall in love with it at the start. Instead of being like other farm or life sims, it draws you in with the story and everything else like the farming and crafting are just bonuses. Really, really good bonuses. With the amount of focus on the story, it wouldn't be complete without the voice acting to which the developer said, don't worry, we'll put in over 18 hours of voice acting. And before we go any further, I've heard my fair share of voice acting in games that I had to turn off. I would never ever turn off the voice acting in Wildflowers even if it was an option. Every character in town sounds so amazing and each voice really does fit the character and personality so much. Would you like to have dinner with me sometime? I saw that spark of magic in your eye. It really is an amazing addition to the game that I didn't even know I needed. On top of the amazing story that will make you laugh and cry, let's not forget about the amazing quality of life additions that this game has that I've not seen many other games use. There are honestly so, so many, but I'll just talk about a few that actually stuck out to me. The first is time. In Wildflowers, you actually have three options that you can use for time in game. Those being relaxed, normal, and challenging. Relaxed giving you more time in each day and challenging giving you less. You can even change it any time during your gameplay. Seasons are also similar in this game as you are the one who changes the seasons. You'll choose when you want to switch from spring to summer and so on. So you have plenty of time to harvest or get whatever you need to get done before the season changes. Let's not forget about the infinite inventory. Yes, you heard me. From the start of the game, you have infinite storage space for everything you would ever carry. You can carry 5 million rocks, 1 million branches, in one mushroom and still have room. At least, I hope you can, because I've never tested getting a million items, but it seems possible. The tools are also automatic. When you step up to a tree, it will automatically give you the option to cut, or if you go up to a rock, it will automatically give you the option to mine, all without ever going into an item menu to pull your tool out. What did I say? Quality of life in this game is chef's kiss. Oh, and there's also one more thing I feel like I should mention, the magic. The magic in this game doesn't stop at, oh, you're a witch, but you don't really do many things as a witch. That's just what you are top deal. You actually get to bond with the other witches in town. And after you get access, you can use a crystal ball to reveal innermost desires, use the scrying bowl to find the location of people or objects, or even your cauldron to make potions. There are so many cool potions to make, like the miracle grow potion that helps your crops grow, the levitation potion, or even the pranking pumpkin pie. And last, 
You can even turn into a cat on Wildflowers. Hello, a cat. I am going to be completely honest with you, however, and I do give you permission to make fun of me. Anything witchy or spooky normally scares me. So before I played this game, I was a little worried that it would be spooky and that I would be scared. However, for all of you out there like me who get scared of anything witchy and spooky, do not fret. This game is not either in any way. Think more lighthearted witchy like the 90s TV show, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I also wanted to mention how Wildflowers has gotten quite a few free updates since it released, and I don't think they plan on stopping the work on this game anytime soon. The first update, Endless Seasons and Romance, was released in December, as well as the second update, Violet's Boutique, released recently in February. I did start playing the game after these updates came out, but it's still so amazing that they're still updating it for free. I also seen an update on Steam that said, I truly hope you enjoyed hearing from our team what it's like to create a content update. This is the typical process we undergo for any of our updates and we just might be in the middle of it right now. So I'm thinking that means yes, we're going to continue to get updates at least one more anyway. To further my love for this game, just looking at the reviews on Steam made me realize that not only do I love this game, but other people love this game as much as I do. There are so many amazing reviews and in my quick scroll through, I actually did not even see one negative review at all of this game as all of the reviews said they recommended this game. I did want to be completely honest with you all and mention a few cons that I did have while playing, but keep in mind, these are not complaints, just things that I would personally change for my type of gameplay. One of those things being there is not enough romanceable options. I personally love having a million choices when it comes to who I want to date in a game and I think this game currently only has seven. I did indeed find someone I was interested in but I just wish I had more options. My other con was the camera angle as you can't go 360 around your character you can only move left right up and down. I'm so used to playing games like Breath of the Wild that it's weird when I play a game without a 360 camera but this is something that you can get used to and I actually really didn't have to use the camera much anyway. Okay back to the pros. The price point of this game is $24.99 on Nintendo Switch and Steam. For the amount of content that is in this game, which equals to well over 40 plus hours of gameplay, that is absolutely wild. No pun intended. You can also try it out before buying as there is a free demo on Steam to play. Sadly, there's not a Switch demo, but maybe that could happen in the future. Wildflowers has actually captured my attention so much that I will be making a tips and tricks beginner's guide video to wildflowers and that is the first of its kind on this channel. I really hope you enjoyed learning about my experience with wildflowers and I really hope you pick it up. Thank you so much for watching. Have a cozy day and God bless.